a vivid display of color. This sparkling spectacle is the Japanese tiger beetle. It's a tiny two centimeter long terror. With killer mandibles resembling fangs, this fierce hunter is the tiger of beetles. These colorful creatures roam the Japanese countryside, reaching incredible speeds. No bug is safe. Can nothing stop this fearless fiend? But even the hunter can become the hunted. The tiger beetle confronts all enemies with a surprising tactic. This episode reveals the wonder of the tiny world right at our feet. Early summer in the Japanese countryside. All is quiet and serene until we look a little closer. Something seems to be in quite a hurry. It can really move. Just what we were looking for. The Japanese tiger beetle. It's affectionately known as Japan's most beautiful insect. The giant mandibles covering half of the face are some fearsome weapons. Standing upright, it can spot prey at a distance. It makes quick work of the ant. And it's off again. A stealth move from behind. Ants are the beetle's main prey. Earwigs fare no better. It holds down the struggling opponent with its powerful jaws, all the while avoiding those nasty tail pincers. It even targets bigger bugs in an aggressive tiger-like manner. Our little critter shows no fear. This time, it's a dragonfly. It won't give up even if the target takes to the air. Now that's a lesson in persistence. The Japanese tiger beetle. Tiger beetle hunts in open areas with good visibility. It runs and stops, runs and stops. It repeats this all day long, moving across a large area in search of its next meal. These beetles are known to cover 500 meters daily. That's the equivalent of running a full marathon every single day. And what now? It bounces on an ant. But suddenly, it's not alone. Another has arrived to claim the prize. It's a colorful kung fu battle. Here's a face-off between three tiger beetles. Take that! 
Hold on, I caught it. No, it's mine. Lightning fast moves, overwhelming power and tenacity in the tiny animal kingdom. The tiger beetles Heated battles seem to be never ending. Oh, that looks like a fight to the very end. Oh, Charlie, it does. But I've been wondering since the beginning, why do Japanese tiger beetles... <laughs> ...have such colorful markings? That's a good question. There are a few theories, but one is that their colorful markings serve as camouflage against potential predators, such as birds. <laughs> you must be buggy. It makes them more noticeable. Actually, no. When looking for prey from a distance, birds rely not so much on markings, but more on shape. In other words, the outlines. I see. But the loud markings of the tiger beetle... are believed to have the effect of blurring its outline. Huh? What do you mean? Predators get distracted by the loud markings and don't clearly see the outlines. Really? Watch this. We've placed the image of a Japanese tiger beetle and that of an all-blue tiger beetle. If we gradually increase the distance to get closer to a bird's eye view, Whoa. The outline of the blue tiger beetle remains clear, but our beetle's outline is hard to discern now, isn't it? It is! I would never have thought! So I suppose the markings aren't just to impress us humans. The mixture of stealth, beauty, and brawn make it a unique hunter. The reason behind the Japanese tiger beetle's, in beetle's incredible colors is now vividly clear to me. And where is our vivid creature now? It takes to the air in twilight. Others do the same. They all head toward the forest. Locking its mandibles around a small stem, the beetle is in for a good night's sleep. Especially after the day-long marathon on the ground. The next morning, we resume our hunt for the colorful racers on the ground. A closer look shows many small holes They're each about three millimeters across. Perhaps these ants have something to do with them. It's gone. Let's see that again. Something came out from the hole and dragged the ant into it. It's every ant's worst nightmare, a Japanese tiger beetle larva. It hides inside the hole, waiting for prey to approach. An unsuspecting wasp larva. That was quick. It comes out from the hole grabs the prey with its mandibles and drags it inside all in about half a second. The tiger beetle larva will pounce on whatever comes near. Unlike an adult, a larva cannot run around. That's why it relies on ambush. The key behind its ability to instantly grab and kill prey lies in the larva's body. 
First, its eyes. From this angle, you can see four, right? But there are more here. And on the side. With a total of 12 eyes, the larva has a 360 degree view of its surroundings. Then there's its back. A strange claw serves an important purpose when catching large prey. When coming out from the hole, the larva will sink its claw into the wall. This provides crucial leverage when the prey tries to escape. Even a grasshopper with powerful legs is doomed, once caught by a tiger beetle larva. The adult tiger beetle simply runs around, showing dynamic hunting skills. The larva, on the other hand, relies on patience and surprise. The adult and young exhibit very different skills based on their development, making them both fearful predators.